I'm so sorry for the video clip you're about to watch. Being a system administrator is really quite boring. Oh, I know. User and... Oh, uh, why, why am I here? Well, I was, I was lonely, so I... Yeah, but it's just me. So well, we're the same. Well, I know. I mean, it's... <laughs> User delete. Hmm. Uh, let's see, what can I do in... Oh, I know. User and... So. <laughs> okay, I'd like to say that I'm never going to do something like that again, but that's probably a lie. That was kind of fun. So anyway, what I do want to cover, though, is creating and deleting and modifying users on your Linux system. Now, if you've been watching videos along this series with me, uh, you'll know that you can actually do this by hand by editing the password file like manually. And I'll put a link to the video. I think over here is where the, the link will be uh, so that if you want to watch that, how you can do it manually, you can. But there are tools on the command line. And that's a much, much easier way to manage local users and to quote the Mandalorian. This is the way you don't want to do it manually because it's too easy to make a typo or forget what you're doing or get permissions wrong on a newly created home directory. Just use the tools, especially since they're super easy to use. So rather than show a slide with the different tools on it, I'm just going to directly show you how to uh, add and delete users. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at the user add program. So I'm gonna do user add dash H and I'm going to pipe that through uh, the head command. And, and if you're not familiar with the head command, we learned this in another video in this series. And I don't know, I guess maybe you should watch this series. It's kind of a fun series. It's quick, it's easy. And there's some cool little nuggets like how to use the head command anyway. We do this and we're gonna see the top of the command like flags, the help screen. And there's a couple that I want to point out. Now you can modify lots of things about a user, but by default, it's gonna do a lot of this stuff anyway. The ones that I wanna focus on are, we can specify the home directory, like where the user's home uh, files and where all their directory or where their files in the directory are stored. So we're gonna specify that. Uh, you can also specify supplementary groups that go along with the main group that will be created when we create them. So supplementary groups are the groups that are not the same as their name. So like we're going to create the user Susie, uh, that will be her main group, but we can add her to other groups as well. We're going to talk about the scale directory. We're going to use a default one, but I want to talk about that at the end of this video. And then lastly, I want to make sure that we do the dash M create the home because that's going to create uh, Susie's home folder and it's going to make sure it has the right ownership and permission. So Susie will be able to actually log in. So we have all the stuff right there. Let's actually do it. We're going to say sudo. We have to be root in order to create a user. So we're going to do sudo user add uh, dash D and her home folder is going to be home Susie. Now I'd probably put it there by default, but I really want us to specify where her home folder is going to be. So it's going to be right there and then dash lowercase M. So it goes through the process of creating that home folder. So this would just specify where it was, but if we want to actually have it created, we need to do the dash M and then dash capital G. And I want Susie to be an administrator. So I want to add her to the supplementary group pseudo and ADM. So I want her to have those groups. If I press enter, uh, what, oh, I forgot to specify her name. So at the last command or the last part of it is Susie, right? We have to say uh, user add to the directory home Susie, create the directory, put the user in the, these two groups, and then you have to actually tell the command what is her name going to be. I just forgot to type that. So anyway, Susie, and now we've created the user Susie. We can see that by typing ID Susie. And sure enough, there she is. Uh, she's UID 1002, Susie, group ID 1002, Susie. And then the supplementary groups that we added her to, of course, there's the, her main group, but then the ADM and the pseudo group that we added right up here. So that is how Susie is now, um, uh, she has an account on our computer. If we look at the home directory, we're going to see uh, our two users, Bob and S Powers already were there. And now Susie has her home directory there as well. Now I want to show you, you can also add a group really easily too. There's not as many commands there. So we're just going to actually say sudo group add cool people. Okay. So now cool people is there, but if we still look at 
the idea of Susie, she doesn't belong to that group because we just created it. It didn't even exist when we created her user. So in order to add her to that group, we're going to use another command. And this one isn't actually spelled out for you to learn in the Linux Essentials objective, but it's vital for you to know. So we're just going to cover it. I'm going to say sudo user mod dash h for I want to see the help and the same thing I'm going to pipe this through uh, the head command and I want to show 25 lines and what I specifically want to point out here are these two things so dash capital G just like when we're creating a, a user we can add them to a supplementary group so that's how we're going to add Susie to the cool people group however we also have to specify dash a and append it because that will append this group to her list of groups otherwise if we just do capital g and put cool people that will be the only supplementary group she belongs to she will no longer be in the adm and the pseudo group so we have to append to her list of groups that's vitally important that we do both of these and that's really why i wanted to show you the help list so anyway we're going to do pseudo user mod dash g cool people and dash a so it appends and then of course the username who we want to add to that group is Susie and now if we do an ID of Susie oh look at that Susie still is in the same groups that she was before but also now she's in the cool people group that we created and added her to after the fact now there are some cool things remember I mentioned the skeleton group well if we look so I'm going to do sudo ls home Susie there's nothing in there because Susie was created with an empty home directory. But what if we wanted to preload somebody's folder with some files? Well, we can do that, but we have to do it before we actually create her. So let's get rid of Susie. We're going to say sudo user Dell. And I want to do dash H so we can see the options here. And what we're going to do is we're going to force it so that it removes her files and we want to make sure it removes her home directory and her mail spool. She doesn't actually have a mail spool set up, but it's going to remove everything about Susie if we do R and F. So we're just going to say sudo user Dell dash RF Susie. And of course, yeah, it says there is no mail spool there. But if we look in like the home directory now, Susie's gone. If we grep Susie uh, from the etc. password file, there's none in there. And if we do ID of Susie, it's going to be like, eh, there's no such user. Okay. So what I want to do is go into a folder called etc. scale. All right. And if we do LS, there's no main files in here, but what if we were to do sudo, um, touch cool file for cool people. And now inside the scale folder, there's a file called cool file for cool people. Okay. And it's just an empty file. We just touched it and created an empty file, but it's there. And now if we type CD. If we create a user again, the next user we create should have this automatically put into their home folder. So let's create Susie again from scratch and see if that happens. So we're going to say sudo user add dash D home Susie dash M for create it dash G. Uh, we're going to put her in the pseudo group, the ADM group, and the cool people group. And then her name, of course, is going to be Susie. Press enter. And now ID Susie. Make sure we got it all in place. Yep, she's there. It's all working. And now if we do sudo ls, and I have to do sudo because otherwise the S powers user wouldn't have access to Susie's home folder. But if we do home Susie and look inside her folder, Look at that cool file for cool people was automatically put in her folder. Uh, a copy of that, etc. skeleton folder or ETC scale is put in new users. So you can pre-populate things for when you create uh, new user accounts. Now, one last thing we have to do is when we create a user, it doesn't have a password. So we have to assign Susie a password if we want her to actually be able to log in. And that's a really simple command. It's the same command that you change your own password with, right? If I was going to change my own password, I would say P-A-S-S-W-D, and it would ask me for my old password and change it twice. But if you have root privilege, like with sudo, you can say P-A-S-S-W-D with the user as an argument. So sudo password of Susie, and it's going to say, what is her new password? I'll say Susie. Susie, which is a terrible password. Don't actually use a person's username as a password. But I want to show you that if we now SSH, which is a way to connect to a computer, uh, local host, it's go. Oh, nah, I did the wrong thing. Hold on. Okay. SSH Susie at local host. So I'm trying to connect to our local machine as Susie. And I type in the Susie password. And now who am I? Who, who am I? I'm Susie. 
and I'm logged in in the Suzy home folder, and there's the cool file for cool people. Now, oddly, creating and deleting users is not something you do all that often, but if you do have to do it, please be sure to use the command line tools rather than trying to manipulate the password and the group and the shadow file and everything by hand, because it's just an easy way to make a mistake and create a, an error that'll lock possibly everybody out of the system. If you screw up the password file, even you won't be able to log in, right? So use those tools. That's what they're there for. Um, and remember to learn everything do what you love, and most importantly, be kind. Uh, if you have comments, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video.